The way that uh, that w what we're calling gun culture is interwoven into the American South and and as much the South as just rural America and the people who identify with the country music demographic. There's a considerable overlap with that group um, uh, uh, from I love country, I live in a rural place, I, I believe strongly in the Second Amendment and my definition of it is, um, you know, is immovable. So that sort of unique stubbornness uh, represents a, um, a body politic um, in the music because that's who buys a lot of these records and comes out to see those shows. Um, so um, I, after the shooting happened, I could imagine um, a world that, well, I thought that it was a really important challenge to see just what our, what our musicians are capable of. You know, these are people, we are a body of, um, of singers and songwriters and musicians who have um, an incredible reach into these communities directly. And I could imagine um, us rising to the challenge, um, similarly to the ways in which people in the American South, who it never dawned on them in the era of, of, um, of segregation and desegregation, that there was something spiritually, morally, culturally wrong about dividing people because of the color of their skin. I, I think we're living in a moment when people are also going to look back on their grandparents' generation and say, they were living in a time in, in which there was a, a moral and spiritual wrongness being committed as a culture about the accessibility to military-grade weapons in the United States.